handle you know, to get me involved in uh, discussions like this. I believe that my contribution to you would be a real handsome contribution. I mean, I, for example, deal with a lot of um, hardness in the creative world. Mm. And everybody is talking about the new economy, the creative economy, and so on. I mean, I employ artists, creative directors, graphic designers, you know, and producers, and so on. So I have a first-hand dealing with it, and I have a day-to-day -day influence on what happens to this. We got into the industry. I've been managing director. My name, well, I should start off by saying my name is Reginald Bly officially. Everybody calls me Gedi. That's right. That's right. That's right. Prof. Welcome, Thank you. Professor. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have a little bit of and then. Uh, yes, so shall we suspend it? No, no, yeah. let him go around and you continue. Okay, then Okay, <laughs> well, you have a, it does not, I must confess, it does not plan that you have an uh, appropriate location. <laughs> yeah, we are just going around okay. introducing ourselves. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, my friend Kofi Blanson has said something, yeah. and my other friend, Mr. Yeah. Reginald Lai, but yeah. I still just say, everybody calls him Gadi Lai. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's funny how I inherited um, Gadi Lai uh, in high school, in secondary school. Um, Everybody had to have a nickname or so, especially if you played in a band or so. And we had a group band at the class then called the Disco Teens. I was the drummer. So my band's name was Giddy Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Other, the best of the band had funny names like Bobby Washington, Lord Pantrozo, and so on. They all got away with their names. My, my name was that. So I ended up with Giddy Lai. I mean, Sometimes I really get confused whether I'm original or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought Getty was a short form of original, I must say. <laughs> I always thought I was getting a short form of original. <laughs> so before Prof. Mogli, I was saying that I belong to the creative world. I have run my agency for 21 years. I've been managing director. And uh, we work with creative directors, with graphic designers, artists, producers, and so on. When we entered the industry, we realized that you know, there was a wide gap between fees and earnings of people in the creative industry in Africa as compared to anywhere else in the world. So it was a big challenge for us because you couldn't get the best out of people. You know, um, those who have been exposed would rarely throw your office away. I mean, when others were being paid 10,000 pounds, for example, for models say in Ghana in those days, people were being paid 100 cities or what? There's a million Ghanaian cities, so that means the equivalent of about a hundred um, cities. Now, today, for example, a lead model could earn as much as um, 10,000 Ghana cities, and certain productions even a bit more. It's still a far cry from what is being paid out of Ghana, but we've come a long way, and things are beginning to look brighter. I believe governments here in our world should pay serious attention to creative economy because that is where we can harness a lot of growth. We don't have the requisite capital to come up with big time industries and so on. But, you know, if we could use the, you know, or really tune into the creative economies effectively, you know, we're on the way to building, you know, bigger empires. Let's refer this to the recent football. Well, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> very important. You know, I mean, <laughs> we have footballers in Ghana who are multi millionaires. Yes. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, you wouldn't hear of any decent family allowing their kids to go play football, but it's all changed. So we, we've got to begin to respect, you know, the wave of change that is you know, blowing into the world. We've got to identify with the winning mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. And I think that as a way of introduction, I will continue Excellent. to support members in the um, creative industry. We will continue to work with them and try as much as possible to improve their lot. Uh, if I might curry you a bit, uh, I hope I'm not revealing any business secrets. Yeah. But I know you, you, you have Vodafone, for instance, in Ghana. Well, um, we are in charge of the creative work for Vodafone. 
we but are, that, 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 that's what I wanted you to explain. In yeah. advertising, when you say, what do you say? Above the board or below above, the board? Above the line. Above the line and below the line. Yeah, can, ex, can you explain that a bit? Well, in advertising, above the line will refer to the traditional media you are all familiar with. The radio, the television, the press, and the uh, billboards and so on. And below the line will refer to the promotionals and the, the experiential and other non-traditional ways of you know, promoting the brand. So clearly, you know, we're involved with um, most of the work that would be featured on the above the um, line media. Um, can you still explain that in further yes, ordinary which means terms? That would be involved in producing <laughs> the artwork. Yes, the artwork for the oppressors will mm -hmm. be involved in producing the concerts for their television. Mm -hmm. Will be and producing the. Uh, so I want to see things like the use of Indian symbols. Yes, and so, and so on. And so on. And that will be your work. That will be our work. Okay. You know, and we'll be involved yeah, you're not responsible for painting the buildings. No, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't do any such things. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.